Okay, I guess we'll start tonight's session by giving once again a rundown of where we are in the game. First of all, it is the beginning of the June 23rd churn. Uh, the random event for the 23rd was hooker questioned, which led to, that was the third hooker questioned event leading to hooker's removal from command and replacement by Mead. Um, and <clears throat> Dave then chose to be operational. We chose to be operational. And then what did you guys do with respect to changing your commands within the army? Okay, so they basically totally reorganized. <laughs> um, John mostly stayed the same. He has the, um, the 11th, 12th, and the DC, and he picked up the CAV. Um, Clyde now has, we kind of swapped roles. Clyde Clyde has the 5th, 6th, and all the Baltimore, West Virginia, Harper's Ferry guys. Okay. Uh, so we kind of switched places, and I got the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and the PA who don't care about this war at all. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> as far as the victory points are concerned right now, uh, according to the sheet, we have a total of 64 no town levies, no strategic structures, six in depots, 17 in railroads, and most of our points come from county control, thanks to controlling both Montgomery County and Fairfax County at one point in time. Plus, we have some points for losses, all told 64 points, still a long way from even getting to a marginal for us, which would be 190. As far as the supply situation, both Sides are continue to be pretty well supplied. We have four days of supply remaining, and you guys have five days of supply remaining. And then, as far as the morale, the union has a little bit of a problem with morale because Sedgwick got, uh, who was a how I believe under Sedgwick, got routed away last turn, plus some casualties. So they're up to a demoralization level of three, still five below the disorder level, but that's something they have to at least look at now. Uh, and with that, I think uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Unless anybody has any questions, I'm assuming you guys have communicated. Uh, the first thing we're going to do then is do the leader transfer. I definitely have a leader transfer with Yule. Reynolds is going to go down the standard. <laughs> any others? No, I'm going to keep mine where they are. Okay. You guys can complete your naval move. I'm assuming you want to move right to Camden yeah. Station and then move the, uh, who you have, Newton, on, on the way to. I didn't realize he was on the way to. Okay. So do you want to just, I'll just move those for you. You yeah. get right into, um, right into Camden, Camden Station. Yep. Yeah, fatigue two. Yep, that's fatigue two. <clears throat> I said we got we got a bunch coming up, so it's not an easy thing for you to get in. Yeah, and then uh, the, these two guys moved to the Baltimore docks. Okay. All right. How about some attachment? Attachments, yes. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to attach uh, Williams and Lockwood. Okay. All right. So that's going to go up to uh, eight. I mm -hmm. guess is the only yeah. change. Yeah, he doesn't have any artillery, so he yeah. just goes up to eight. Yeah. And uh, I do have another one uh, in D.C. The 39th Massachusetts will go away and join Wells. Yes. Okay. I will roll initiative. Here we go. Confederate. Of course. Confederate <laughs> and uh, Patrick. Um, yes, I will take it. And I think... Hmm. I will, Which option are you choosing? I'm going to activate Pender with Hill. We'll take him to two. And uh, here is his march. Plus two. It's a six. So his extended march now is okay. So one, two, three. He has three remaining. What would Macintosh like to do? Already. <laughs> Uh, well, he's going to have to so figure out what the odds are before you, well, he, he is blanked, so you probably go retreat. Yeah, the odds are two to one. But... I think it's a plus five, we oh. figure, isn't it? He's, uh, he's retreating. Okay, ready? Sure, go ahead. 
Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, even though you did what you needed to. So I will lose my final three. So mm -hmm. retreat uh, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two, three. He has to go down next on a longer road. Okay. All right. Uh, that will complete Pender's March. So here's the next initiative. Uh, it is ours. And I'll take it to Patrick again. By the way, guys, remember, you guys are in a paralysis. Mm -hmm. So you're minus one on your initiatives this, this turn. Um, I am going to activate Robertson and Chambliss with Stuart. And uh, Chambliss will need an extended march. Here's their movement plus three. It's 11. Um, we'll take Stuart first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then Chambliss extended march. He is okay. He will go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Initiative. It's ours. Okay. Um, I'll move Jenkins. See how far he goes. Ten, two, three, four, five, and he'll just stay there and there. I'll take this four down here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Initiative. Yule will now go with his two units there. See how far they go. He comes a four. He will transfer to Johnson. One, two, three, four, I think. And then he'll go right there. Initiative. It is the unions. Uh, Clyde. Let's take Sedgwick. How far does he go? One. Oh, Needs an extend march? Of course. So game's he'll... rigged, Ken. <laughs> what? This game's rigged. <laughs> this game's rigged. That's right. It's the Basil die roller. It's rigged, not the game. And then I move two. One, two. Initiative. It's us again. Go ahead. We're going to three. How far am I going to go? Oh, my God. You still got the slows from Virginia. Yeah, all the way. And it's extend March. He loses another one. This is horrible. Okay. Unbelievable. So we're going to go one, two. Initiative. Union. You want it, Clyde? Um, I'll, I'll give it back to you, Dave. Okay. Uh, John. Okay. I will uh, activate the uh, first Cav with Buford, uh, Gamble, and Merritt. Movement. Come on. Ooh. Just make it. Eight, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative. Patrick. Heath will go to two and destroy Annapolis Junction. Yeah. And uh, here's the next initiative. It's Union. John? All right. Uh, second calf. Well, I'll just Huey. Movement. Five. Two, three, four, five. Initiative. Now that is. That will be ours. Minus one for you. So yep. it was tied at 3-3 three, three and we win yep. the initiative. Patrick. Um. I'm going to activate F. Lee up here. He's going to go to, to 1 and come out of his entrenchments. Here's his movement. That's not great. It's 4. So, uh, 1, 
two, three, four. Initiative. Union. Clyde. Um, let me let me pass it back to you, Dave. Okay, John. All right. Uh, Slocum will do his. Uh, he's going to rail to uh, uh, just south of Beltsville. He's at F two, correct? Yeah. All right. Initiative. Confederates. Patrick. To get flee again. Two. Here's his movement. Wow. Flying. Three. Um. Hmm. One, two, three. Initiative. It's ours. Patrick. Take F lead to three. Here's his movement. That's better. Uh, ex- where's ex- where's F lead? At? He's Sorry. up near Sedgwick. Up near Ballpark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, oh, gee. Here's his uh, extended march. He's okay. Hmm. Mr. F. Lee is going to come down here and make a normal attack on Hal. So I think he's got uh, minus one for tactical and plus seven for eight to one. So we're looking at a plus six attack. Uh, so here we go. Confederate on the right. It's plus six. So Clyde, why didn't you move the one Connecticut back? <coughs> that, that will uh, eliminate Howe. And Sedgwick gets the transfer back to right. And uh, I used three and then I used four for the attack. So that's seven. I have four left over. Or five left over. <coughs> So, uh, what's that? You can't advance if you want off. Um, I will not because I'm just gonna go my last five one, two, three, four, and five. (coughs) Initiative, it's ours again, Patrick. Take F lead to four, and here is his march. Nine. Here's his extended plus one. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, we'll make a hasty attack on Haupt. So, okay. so it's a uh, minus one for that and uh, plus three for tactical. So, oh, and plus two for for tactical. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> plus plus five minus one for the hasty right, is plus four. Plus four, right? Plus four. Thank you. See math. All right. Here's a Confederate plus four. That's plus four. Hap gets away. All right. Need yeah. a plus five to get him. I did. Yeah. Doesn't matter. He's not doing anything anyway. So. Okay. Keep going into the woods. Initiative. It's Union. Okay, Hancock. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Confederates. Patrick. I think I'll just move Pender uh, to three. Here's his march. That's a big march. Uh, eight extended march now of plus one. He's okay. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Initiative. It's ours. I'm going to do, do some DC moves. Uh, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I will move. Uh, I can do these offline if you want to take something, Ken. I was just going to move <coughs> some of these guys, like sub two. I have nothing to do. Okay. Uh, so then I will move sub two. 
and you can go to fatigue level one. Uh, movement, it's five. One, two, three, four into front royal. Uh, initiative, it's union. Clyde, you want it? Yeah, I'll take it. Let me jump to Sedgwick. How far will I go? Five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Ken? Where'd you move? Oh, you moved. He's okay. Shank, Shank, not Sedgwick. Oh, That's I'm sorry. Really I'm sorry. Really. No problem. No problem. Um, interesting. That's quite a force you have coming down there, doesn't it? Plus, I don't even have a tactical advantage on you. That's unfortunate. I'm going to move uh, sub seven. See how far he goes. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. You can have Leesburg, I guess. Initiative. Confederates. I will uh, move with sub seven again, I guess. See how far he goes. And he'll just jump on with uh, initiative. Union. Conf uh, Union. Okay, uh, go ahead, Clyde. Take your spoils there. <laughs> All right. Go on to two. How far do they go? Oh. Hey, we even get there. <laughs> yeah, somebody can move pretty quickly. Well, yeah. He's well rested, though. That's the key. Well, now they don't all have to go there. <laughs> all right. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. All yours. I don't think we have anything else to do, guys, if you just want to start moving. Okay, Clyde, you don't need anything you want to do? Yeah, I'll move Sedgwick this time. Going to three. How far does it go? Extend March. Of course he flips everything that way. Uh, <laughs> uh, initiative. Keep on going. Okay, John. Uh, Devin, by himself. Five. Uh, should we roll for initiative? Yeah, go ahead. Keep Keep going. Going. Yep, we will let you know. Veterans. Go ahead, John. Uh, Devin again. There we go. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Initiative. Go ahead, Patrick. If you if you want if you want the initiative, just yell. But we'll just sure, let them go. Sure, sure. What, what you want? Uh, I, I'm gonna go again. Go ahead, Slocum. With Williams, movement. Should have moved more than that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yep. Uh, initiative. Us. Go ahead, Go ahead John. Uh, third, Cav with Kilpatrick. Fatigue, movement. Ten. You're actually. One. You got ten. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Trying to attack across the river. Probably not that bright. No. Uh, I'll go back here to four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Veterans. Pass. Clyde? I've got some isolated cavalry. 13th Pennsylvania. 
Initiative. Keep on going, guys. Just keep on going. Just move away. You'll go again then. I'll take the other one. Initiative. We, we, We're passing. Yeah, We're just passing. Air, air passing. Clyde, you want anything? Uh, John. Okay, the Eleventh uh, Corps. All three units. There's fatigue, movement. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Stop there. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five. You have six, by the way. If you need it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Six. And uh, uh, Stein were, I believe, stopped at five. Oh, he, he's not yeah. going to join anyway. It's okay. okay. Yep, that's it. Okay, I'll move third core. Two, two units in artillery reserve. God damn. That vassal die ruler. I'm glad I had the Alberto design this game for me. And while he works on that, you mind if I move this Baltimore or Calvert? No, no. Yeah, whatever you want to do. How far do they go? Okay, we're going to move third core again, except the artillery. There we go. Lead guy extend. Okay, all right. One. No, not the artillery. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you mind if I move Crawford? No problem. Great in. Thank you. How far does it go? Okay, his extend. He's okay. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Okay. Reynolds will move with standard. Okay, so movement five. One, two, three, four, five. He'll move again with standard. Another five. Wow. Four. Hmm, maybe he'll just stay there. We'll move Wadsworth once. Another five. Wow. Two, three, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're good. I think we'll just leave these guys. Leave these guys here. Okay, let's see. Anybody else have anything to move? Uh, I think I'm going to move Williams one more time. Okay. Probably should have done this in the first place, but movement. <laughs> Didn't really need that. All right, that's it. Uh, I'm going to move uh, Kilpatrick, sorry, with the third, uh, third okay. calf. Movement. Nine. All right, Kilpatrick will move first. Uh, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Oops. No, no, no. Six. No. Yep. Six, seven, eight, nine. Custer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think Kilpatrick should be back with Custer. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Last call. Last call. Anybody? Okay, we done? Very good. Yep. Okay, moving on to the supply segment. We don't have any. We're just going to reduce the supply of both armies by one. We're down to three. You're at four. You don't have any railroads repair this time. No, any deep, depot placements or anything like that? Hearing none. Okay, and then I'm going to do the regular recovery. Here we go. Okay, so we have that done. Uh, we're going to go on to the county control phase, and we're going to get another five points for controlling Fairfax County. So we move the churn indication up one to the 24th of June. 
Uh, do you have all your West Virginia reinforcements? Yes. Okay, you can roll one, two, or three to see if you continue to move the. I, I think that I think the uh, all of the DC reinforcements have already been written. In yeah, as well, haven't they? I think Maryland is. I mean, all uh, we're looking Pennsylvania is the only one. All we're looking for is that Pennsylvania. So add one for that. No, I need or a minus one. minus two. one for it. One or two, right? It's a one or two, yep. Yeah. And you failed. Okay. Uh, so then we move on to a random event roll. Let me pull the random event table out here. Two two dice for the random event. It's a seven. So your, your area. No, it's it's not going to be that now. So it's treat as Hooker questioned if the CSA infantry has crossed the Potomac. Treat as CSA communications breakdown. If Meade has assumed command and Meade is oh, is yeah. south of the Potomac. Okay. Uh, but you're you're not south of the Potomac. Huh? Treat, treat, oh, right, right. treat instead as Richmond garrison and roll for Beauregard if Meade has assumed command and Meade is north of the Potomac. Okay. Sure. So we we have we're gonna get our first Richmond reinforcement. And we roll, if we get a one, Beauregard comes on with them. Roll for that. That is not the case. So we're going to get a Richmond reinforcement. And I'm going to give those reinforcements to Patrick. Hey, all right. Uh, Technically, so you have to take anywhere on the south edge of the map board. I'll leave him uh, where I'm getting down there. Sorry. South edge of the SJW, man. Okay. So. I put him in Spotsylvania Courthouse. You can put him wherever you that, like. That's okay. just as good as any. Okay. <laughs> so me. we have Richmond Garrison. The next phase is operational passive. See. Headquarter display. I will mask my guy and set him to the proper level. And I am set, Dave. Okay, so... I've already got mine. Why don't you just tell me what you have? <laughs> we'll be operational. We are operational as well. Next phase is the communications phase. So Patrick and I will go into game room two, or where we where can we go, Patrick? Let's go to game room two. Okay. I will roll the first initiative. Here it is. Union Confederate. Confederate and Patrick. I'm sorry, Patrick. Did you oh, want to I, make a yeah? Leader I have transfer, a, a leader transfer. Yeah, I'm going to move. Uh, I'm going to move Stewart up to uh, Shambliss. Uh, so that was that was my only one. Okay. Okay, uh, you have the initiative. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Stewart will activate Robertson and Shambliss and Jones. T double one. Jones loses his entrenchments. And here's their march plus three. It's twelve. So Robertson will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, I think Stewart's going to transfer to Jones. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Shambliss will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eh, seven, eight, to there. Initiative. Yeah. Union. Okay, uh, Howard, Howard score, all three, Teague, move, three. We'll go, Barlow, we'll, we'll go to there, one, two, three, one, two, three, initiative. Confederates. Okay, Longstreet's entire core will move. See how far they go. How about, how about an eight? How about eight? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hood moves into Ellicott City. He'll come up right behind him. 
and Kershaw will be there. And initiative. I will move early by himself. See how far he goes. It'll be five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he'll stay right there. Initiative, Patrick. Um, Hill will activate Anderson, Pender, and Heath. Here's their movement. It's a six. Uh, Heath will go one, two, three, four, five, six. Hill will transfer to Anders. Anderson, rather. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Initiative. Ours? You'll move Johnson and Rhodes. See how far they go. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and he'll transfer back to him. Initiative. So it's uh, your initiative, guys. Hey, finally. Okay, second core. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll queue and I'll put Hancock with him. Okay. Union. First Corps, including the artillery reserve, two artillery reserves. <laughs> oh, God. One, two. These guys will just go over and join Howard. <laughs> I'm going to move uh, Sickle in the rear here. Okay. Initiative. Yours. I'll move uh, Johnson and Rhodes again. See how far they go. Not exactly burning up the turnpike here. I think I'll go one, two, three, and then one, two, three there. Initiative. Union. Okay, we'll move third core. There we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Better. Okay. Uh, Long Street's entire core. See how far they go. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just move behind there. Same for him. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And initiative. Yours. Clyde. All right. I'll take Newton. How far does he go? I need an extend march. A one, two. Cedric can go with him if you want. Initiative. Ken. Okay. Um, I will take Longstreet's entire core again. Let's see how far they go. They're slowing down here. Let's see some flips. Mm-hmm. It's about four to work with, huh? Oh, the roads are suddenly bad here. <laughs> There's not a bridge across that little creek. Yeah, we saved Baltimore this turn, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you may have. Leader is a go to hood. So Pickett will go one. Did you roll your extend? Yep. Pickett extend. Okay. Pickett goes one, two, three. <laughs> He's got to be just there. <laughs> um, and Claus will go, I mean, the hood will go one, two to there and rolling. He's okay. And McClaw, see if, see if he disorganizes. Okay. You guys have been scamming out on those. Well, you betcha. One, two, three. And uh, Kershaw, see if he disorganizes. Okay. 
one, two, three, and initiative. Okay, I'll go with Pickett. See how far he goes. See just if he Pickett. just yeah, I'll just go with Pickett here. I think. So he's going to go th four. See how far he goes. That's four, right? Yeah. Getting across that creek is four, right? Three. Three, three in the rolling. Three in the rolling. Yeah, three. Mm -hmm. Well, he'll go. He see if he disorganizes. He's okay. Mm -hmm. Three, four to there. Initiative. Here's Clyde. You want it? Um, no. Okay. Sean, do you want it? Yeah. I guess okay. so. Do the 11th Corps again. Uh, movement. You can take the artillery too. Six. Yep. Countermark. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative, Confederates. I'll move Jenkins. See how far he goes. Seven becomes an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative. Yours. Clyde, you want it for anything. Yeah, let me take this calf, get him out of the way. I'm just playing with the devil. He's a skedaddle. He can be useful. I see a good place for him. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five, six, and hello, Mr. Sedgwick. Initiative. Clyde, I'll pass to you. You get priority on anything if you want to. No. Okay, John. Slocum. March. Two, three. Two, three. Go ahead, John. All right, Slocum again. Movement, one, two, uh, three. We'll stand. One, two, three, four, right? That's what I yep. have, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, initiative, Union. John. I'll move some Cav, First Division, Buford. His guys, movement, ooh, 11, right? Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, one. Uh, th he'll join him there. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, initiative. Patrick. Uh, Hampton will bug out. Uh, it goes to one. Here's his movement. Not that it matters. But he will go to there. Initiative. Union. And John. All right. Uh, Calvary again. Buford. All three. Movement. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. One. There. Okay, initiative. Federates. Patrick. Hmm. This is getting annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yep, Hampton goes to two. Which is movement. And he will go to there. Initiative. Union. Doing anything else, John? Or you hold a while or what? Yeah, that, that's good for well, let me move uh, Kilpatrick. Uh, Kilpatrick and his boys. I'm going to take a rail movement, Ken, if that's okay. Okay. Uh, Wilkinson. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, initiative. Uh, Union. John, want it? Same guys. Movement. One, two, three. All right, initiative. Confederates. Okay, uh, Jenkins will move. See how far he goes. He'll go nine. One, two, three, four. And uh, I guess I'll take a normal attack against Buford. So... Have you ever had Devin? Okay, so I get a plus two for flanks. Yes, sir. And that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Okay, so Union Confederate, here we go. Plus three. <sighs> so one. Now, is that legal, no, right? No, no, you can't go no. there. You have to go to 23, 23 25. And then you can go two more hexes if you want. One. Yeah, he'll go to there. So, so Glendro, is that road there? You going to advance? <laughs> uh, no, I'll stick with her right where I am. Uh, Patrick. I think I'm going to move, uh, move Heath to two. Here's his movement. He gets five. Here's his extended. And he's okay for this one. I'll just move to the relay house. Initiative. Union. Okay, we're going to move second core. Four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, Union. First core. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right behind. One. Okay, initiative. Confederates. Yule's entire core. Uh, see how far they go. Four, huh? So uh, early, my movement was four, right? So yes, we have a one, two, three, four. The subunit will go to Ellicott Mills, and he'll end up with two fatigues as well. Um, Rhodes will go one, two, three, four. Now he'll need an extend march. Yes, he will. Thank you. Yes, sir. He's good. Of course. One, two, three, four. He needs an extended march. He's good. Yes, sir. We've got initiative. Ours again. Patrick, do you want want it or not? Um, I'll let you take this one, and then I'll take the next one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I I I have something I'll, I can do, but uh, I wasn't sure. Uh, no, I'll I'll, I'll move uh, early again. Okay. And he will he will move with. Uh, utilizing you also see how far he goes. He just goes four, so he'll go up one more and see if he disorganizes. No, he'll go down one, two, three, four down the road there. Initiative, Patrick. Uh, yes, now I will activate Anderson with Hill, get him moving. Here's the movement plus two, six. Hmm. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Initiative. It's ours again. Patrick, do you want to? Um, yeah, I'll have uh, Heath destroy the relay house. Okay. So, clone that. There. Whoops. There. Get us a three. And initiative. It's ours again. Yeah, and I will do. Uh... Now I know what you were asking me to do. <laughs> uh, I'm going to destroy the Ellicott City Station. And that's. Uh... Can you clone one there for me? Sure thing. Put an Ellicott City for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, initiative. Ours. Patrick, do you have any? Uh, I think I'm going to, down in Fairfax, I'm going to move sub one. He's going to come out of his entrenchments, go to fatigue level one. Here's his movement. Six. Go one, two, three. So I will actually move him to there. Okay. Yeah. Init initiative. Union. John, do you want it? I see you still have some units that can move. Uh, uh, hold on, let me move uh, Wells for a second. Yeah, okay. And I see Clyde has one more unit that can move. If you want. Hey, Patrick, at your leisure, you can move the Richmond uh, unit, too. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Crawford will just make a minimum move. To there. I'm going to roll initiative. As you can. Patrick, do you have anything? Uh, I don't think so. I just moved course a couple of times, so I think I'm good where I am at the. Oh, actually, um, I'll take yeah sub sub one will go to two, and he will destroy that station. Mm, there we go. Uh, initiative. It's ours. I don't have anything else. Um, do I have anything else here? Let me check. I'm good. And then we'll move, actually. He'll go seven. One, oops. Wrong guy. One, two, three, four, five. And he's good. Initiative. Yours, guys. Any, any, anybody have anything? I have several things. Crawford okay. goes to two. How far does he go? One. One. Initiative? Uh, we're, uh, we're passing. I'll take Crawford to three. How far does he go? <laughs> Come on. <geez. laughs> <clears throat> now roll your six. Come on. Let's yep. see. Stand march. Uh -huh. One, two. Initiative. Now I'll take okay. it. <laughs> um, Stewart will activate Robertson. To two. Here's his movement. It's 11. And he'll just go to there. And initiative. It's ours. Um, I'm good. We'll pass. Any, anything? I don't have anything. I oh, had. I can move. I can move uh, Mulligan. How far does it go? All right. Ah, we recovered the. We recaptured the Ford. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm. I am done. Yeah, okay, uh, we'll we'll pass unless you have anything. John, you don't have anything. You're good. No. Oh, yep. Good. I think we're done too. Let's, do you have anything, Patrick? Nope. I'm good. Okay. Very good. So we will move. We're into the supply section here, and we'll move the supply down one more. We have two remaining. You have three remaining. We are now plus one on our disorganization organization tables this coming churn. Yeah. So uh, do you have any railroad repair or depot placement, depot destruction? No. no. So we're on to the recovery phase. I saved the game, and we'll do a sunshine recovery. County control... You get an extra three points for 
Fairfax County. We don't get anything for Howard, right? Because you're in Ellicott Mills. Oh, hang on. So you can only get one. Is it all? You can only get one county control. No, I think you can get as many as you have guys in. Dude. No. So Ellicott Mills is Howard, right? Didn't think about that. So that's going to be ten points for that. So we're on to the churn record. Moving on to the 25th, and you do your, um, I think you only have to think at the rule is the Pennsylvania militia, right? Yeah. Yep. No. <laughs> I have no interest. <laughs> yeah. Can't even rail anything in the Baltimore. I mean, it's just uh, so, none of them have shown up. But they can't go, they can't go to Pennsylvania anyway, Dave. No. So, I don't think they could. Uh, I think there's a restriction. Just like no, I, I've only gotten like no units. I got yeah, cows. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to roll the random event. The random event is a nine. That will be a CSA reinforcement. Trina's rain if all CSA reinforcements have been received. Uh, you, you only gotten what, two of them? You got one more? Yeah, I think we have two. Right. Yes, oh, regard is wait. No, but we, oh yeah, you got the 58th North Carolina now and the 12th Virginia still. So yeah, so I have two more. But so there goes and he goes in Winchester with one manpower, I think. Yep. So that's the reinforcements, and next phase is operational passive. So I'm going to go operational. Okay, we're we're operational as well. So we're going to have a communication phase. I would want to point out here that the Baltimore garrison is out of command radius from Meade. That's so right. you're going to you're going to have to do written communications and then roll for a die to get him in, in there to say what Meade and that group is going to do. You can command other people and then the same thing with uh, anybody else. And I will have to do that. Hill is within command radius the 10 of of Lee. But Stuart is not. So my communications with Stuart will have to be in writing. So with that, do you oh, want yeah. to take some high right orders? So we, we, are, we are going to, I'm going to meet with General Hill only in game room two. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Okay. So just checking the sequence of play here. Is there any leader transfer? Hearing none. No. Um, Do we have any naval movement or attachment or detachment? Hearing none. We going to go. Attachment or detachment. Um, you could attach the guys underneath Sedgwick. That, that, that's, that's what he's thinking about. Yeah. But they, but they would lose his. They would lose no. their their entrenchments. Exactly what we're thinking. About. <laughs> I'm going to absorb them, increase manpower by two, and then these two go away. I'm, okay. I'm done with the. I guess, I guess actually, actually the sub the sub can also, if you want, suck up the six New York. The sub. And the other depot. They're both at F three, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, you could yeah. do that. You could add one. Yeah. I'll do that too. Pull him out. Increase his manpower by one. So, uh, the action cycle. Are we ready? Uh yes, sir. Good to go. Okay, here is the initiative. You're not rolling anymore. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Longstreet will move the entire core. See how far they go. One. So Pickett will go one, two, three, and Longstreet will declare a prepared attack. Uh, 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 what, what? Are you aren't through your roll? Don't have to. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's right. It, we are plus one of disorganization. So you are correct. Yeah. So uh He's okay. So now now Longstreet will declare a prepared attack against um Newton. Yes, sir. So I've got a plus three surround, right? And a plus one for prepared and plus one for tactical. So I have plus five, right? Okay. 
So Union first, Confederate second, plus five. Here we go. So plus five. Okay. So how many do you have in there? Nine, nine ten. ten. Yeah, well, nine is that's good. Still two DR. Have we ever won the first initiative in this game? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not keeping track, but I don't recall. Let's say that. And uh, I get a plus five, and I'm gonna. All right, and... I can kill. I can kill the the cab off, and that costs me anything, right? Okay, so you took your you're eliminating the who's that the first Connecticut cavalry? Yeah, and then I have to take one manpower loss off of Newton. He also routed, right? Mm -hmm. So. So you get one more demoralization. What does that mean? You want me to add the fourth? On the demoralization, you took another route, so that moves your demoralization up by one to four. All right, so the retreat is one, two, three. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's so I'm simply ending my action, and I will move onto the depot. Okay, and then I have the other guys will move here. McClaws will go three, four, and Kershaw will go there. Okay? Sure. So we're good. Initiative. Hmm. Got 12 there, 13 on my nine. Got two. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to move uh, Pickett and McClaws this time. See how far they go. So Pickett will go first. Longstreet will transfer to him. See if he disorganizes. He does not. So I get a prepared attack against Camden Station here. And you've got 12, 13 in there to my 9. Okay, so that's a minus one for that. I get plus one for the prepared, and I get plus two for my tactical, right? Yeah. So it's a plus two attack, Union Confederate. Plus three. That's the game. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's not because you're going to get 40 points for ball. I mean, right now. Right, for Baltimore this turn. Plus, we'll be in supply. So, yeah. Any disagreement on the Confederate side? No. No. Oh, your Confederate side. I'm sorry, the Union side. <laughs> I concur with that assessment. Uh, it, it seems like you're you're starting every turn with a long string of nits. Yeah. What What would you have done if you had gotten the first init? Well, first of all, destroyed the one depot, hoping that you wouldn't get in. I knew you were going to flank. And I mean, it was a tough and, position. And, and that's my fault. The flank is my fault. The key hex is Camden point. Station, though, because that's all the points. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, the that's why I had to take point. a chance there. So, no, I, I mean, just the, I mean, the, the prior turn, I mean, just these, it seems like these beginning turns have been huge strings of nets for the Confederates. Yeah. We get three or four nets. We get moved everybody out. Don't give you guys any chance to, yeah, tra trap us or get behind us. We, you know, right. that's, and as long that, that's the key for the Confederates, they have to remain mobile because. Right. If 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 you catch even one unit out, we've got to bring the whole army back to to reinforce it. Even even the the cavalry got in a little trouble there. But each yeah. turn we had a great first move and yeah. And then I mean Longstreet moved like the wind last turn too, as you recall. I, I actually was a little surprised that you didn't turn on our army. Always, if, Howard, if you, Howard and then Slocum were kind of sitting out there, and you were fresh, and you were all together. Yeah, well, I, I, there was too many points to get in Baltimore. I was trying to look at, I, you almost moved um, Hancock. If you would have moved Hancock one more hex up, I was going to hit him with Yule. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I see it. I mean, that's the problem with the Union. Union. Yeah. So I, I think, I think, should we talk through what? what's happened and also some of the things that you and I have been talking about of slight changes. As far as the strategic movement is concerned, one of the concerns about the strategic move, Dave was concerned about the fact that without the strategic movement, 
the union is handicapped, especially early on, trying to get back. So he said without cavalry movement without division commanders. That's well, that's an issue as well, too. But that's part that's that's part of the advantage. That's the one biggest advantage you get when you get Meade in command. You get the cavalry. What we what we come up with is the idea that all of the distance moving, whether it be strategic movement or the, the problem with strategic movement can protect, can be you can take a unit and move them strategically a huge distance and then kind of usurp the other guy before he can even move. Okay. And so what we've done is we're going to move the, the strategic movement and the railroad movement and the, uh, the naval movement all to a, a end of a action cycle movement. So once yeah. we get done moving all of the regular moves, then we, we both players pass. Then either player can do those type of moves. They can do other type of moves as well if they want to respond to strategic moves. But it just puts all that movement off to the end, so you can't funk around with it and use it to move out ahead of people. Because so. the, yeah, the, idea, the idea is that strategic movement is not to be used to a tactical advantage. And the way the rules are, where you can take four marches before anybody can react and one initiatives, not quite. Yeah. And we, and this, and this kind of puts it off. So you can, you can use it, but it just has to be, it has to be really behind the line. It can't be the tactical advantage. Anything else, Dave? Well, and, and, and then also with the artillery, the one thing I'm playing around and it really hurt us here. This is something that they, after John's discussion and something I thought of was if if an, an artillery stays marches with an infantry the whole move and has to take an extend march you roll one die for that stack and can take it on either unit because right now we've already lost two marching artillery manpower makes them totally useless well we can try that out too Dave I, I didn't bought off on that one but that's we can certainly try well, that I, 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 I'm just saying that that, that well, you can think about it, but as I say, historically, the artillery just wouldn't have died out. I mean, they'd pick up the guns and take them with them. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Comments on the... Patrick, is this the first time you've played this? This is the first time I've played a multiplayer game at all, so thank you for having me. Uh, it, oh. was, it was a pleasure. And, it was uh, a pleasure having you as a subordinate. Thank you, so, thank you. I, thoughts? Um, lots of fun. I mean, there are so many... Um, Usually you're thinking strategically, obviously, but so many tactical decisions in the moment that you have an idea. And I think it really uh, reinforces what these commanders had to do. They had to know that moment of when to act independently, when they could seize the initiative and, and take that, that, that opportunity. So I think this format is terrific for displaying that. Really yeah, as far as just, just the way you've never played multi-commander. No. I, I thought you'd play. Oh, yeah, that's... It's it's definitely a lot of fun because it's it's it really does give you a sense. I mean, we do have omnipresent vision about what's going on, right. which is much better than they have. But once you give the orders at the beginning of your turn, you know, like you've got to rely upon your subordinate commanders to 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 do what you want to. Right. So, uh, but at, at first glance, it seems overwhelming. But all the advanced campaigns seem that way because of all of the moving parts and the chrome and, and this, that, and the other. But this is certainly no more complex than anything else that I've I've played in the series uh, at that advanced level. So yeah, it's great. Yeah, we we Patrick, we play this with time clocks. <laughs> oh boy! And, and it really it adds an incredible amount of tension to the game because sure you does. can't you can't sit there and. Uh, analyze over right min minutia just some comments i think if if we had the um strategic move and just to be able to move groups of cavalry we could have better countered stewart oh yeah that's that's the thing we are talking about the, the strategic movement with the cavalry is nice because you can keep them together right right other than that you're rolling so many different dice and that and then and then i think we would have gotten and and just Really, a, a key for the the union is it's not an easy thing, but as the is 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 learning the integration of the of the pass and the supply. Yes, and it's, it's just Clyde. The one thing we were discussing is 
is that when you gave the double pass in Fairfax, that just really helped the Confederates. A little bit. A little bit. There's, there's, I think the, the game, as I was telling, I think the game, based upon the, the, the plays I've seen it, the game is advantage to Union for newer players. Okay? Because I've seen newer players just can't handle the Confederates the way they need to to get up. And know that you got to march and march and march. <laughs> march and just the way they handle them. And, but, but once you get to experienced players, I think yeah. the advantage goes over the Confederates because to play the Union well, you just have to do a lot of things. And you just have to, because there's so many things that the Confederates can do to hurt you. Yes, they have to get a whole bunch of points, but um, that's, that's one of the reasons I wanted to play this game again, because I wanted to see whether I could get to Baltimore. And I, and I think, and, I, and we saw early on that you were going to get there. We just couldn't get enough units going. And, and I said, looking at it, where we had two back-to-back rear area paralysis hurt. Yeah, that did because we couldn't get you couldn't do any railroad, and once we got to Rousers Ford and across, that was the key, right? Because because now you guys were going to have to backtrack to Washington D.C. Building that bridge was actually not a bad idea, but that just got us the jump that we needed to get ahead of you. And, and once once the rail line was cut between Washington and, and Baltimore, and you could it was after those two paralyses it was going to be difficult for you. Yeah, and then that was another one where you got a whole series of events because our first move was going to be the rail move to cover yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. No, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. Yeah. You guys you, got, you guys played well. And, um... Patrick played exceedingly well. I, I think I the uh, uh, screening all those, there was at least two times screening a bunch of Fords that, that totally blocked us from – doing anything. I think along the Potomac and then along the uh, Patuxent, if I'm not mistaken. Well, as you said, you didn't really have the opportunity to do it. But once Stewart got out there by himself, that was going to make it difficult. Yeah, that, 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 that's where a strat move, because at least you, can, you can't you can move them together, but you can keep them together over... Right. Because a, sing, a single brigade is just a target. Right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, John, for playing with us. Yep. Um, I will see what I can do about rounding up a fifth player and we'll meet again here next Friday night. Right. Okay. Okay. We'll get started from then. You guys can, uh, David, I think you can tr- probably assume you're going to be playing with Clyde. Okay. Okay. And we'll go from there. Okay. Thank you guys. Well, thank you All everybody. Right. This is lot, great. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. We'll see you. Take care. Well-deserved win guys. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Clyde.